Uh, I'm John, I'm with the Gavert School of Education. I've been there a long time. I'd like to get us kicked off today by introducing our dean, the Jules Zimmer Dean of the School of Education at UC Santa Barbara, Jeff Milam. Uh, Jeff is really a nationally recognized scholar and researcher around issues of diversity and inclusion. Um, he's really got a, a, a lot of notable things that I'm not gonna tell you about right now. <laughs> Uh, but oh, what, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's pull up a chair. Uh, but what I'd like him to do today, and I, and I hope his remarks will cover that, is he's going to be able to provide some context about the Autism Center and how it fits into our School of Education and how it fits onto our UCSB campus, rank number seven public university. Thank you very much. Um, that, that was in my remarks. <laughs> Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, John. Um, and John and Megan, I think it was a good choice to not order the uh, propane heaters. Today. Well done, well done. Um, as John said, I'm Jeff Milam. I'm the Jules Zimmer Dean, and I'm a professor in the Department of Education in the Gavert School of Education, which is home to our world-famous autism center. Um, I'm glad you've all joined us today in this beautiful space to learn more about the work of the autism center. This event couldn't have happened without Kristen Sedlin's efforts in planning the evening. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, Kristen. And the reason we are here in this oasis is that Sheila Herman and her partner Richard were kind enough to host our event and open the doors to their beautiful home and their beautiful yard. Uh, please join me in thanking our hosts. We're here today to learn about UCSB's Autism Center and their gold standard approaches to supporting individuals and families affected by the autism spectrum disorders. We're also going to hear from members of our community who've benefited from the Autism Center's outreach and services. Before I turn it over to Professor Ty Vernon to tell you about the work of the Autism Center, I'll take just a minute to uh, put that work into a larger context. Obviously, the Autism Center lives at UCSB, which is, as John said, ranked number seven out of all public universities in the nation. By the way, every time we speak, we're required to say that, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, universities are ratings obsessed, and we're no, we're no different. More specifically, the Autism Center is housed at the Gavert School of Education and is sustained through funding from state and federal grants, client fees, and the generosity of private donors. The center is a magnet for the very best faculty, clinicians, graduate students, and undergraduates who work in the field. In fact, one of my really good friend's daughters is starting to work at the Autism Center this quarter, and I'm looking forward to seeing her uh, in the halls of our building. Our Autism Center is widely recognized for pioneering early diagnosis and intervention, and this work has been recognized by the National Academy of Sciences. Without giving away too many of Ty's highlights, I can say that our philosophy and models for intervention are now ubiquitous. For example, our pivotal response treatment and intervention strategy, strategy has been taken up by leading experts in countries across the globe. Just one example of this is China, which is looking to scale up our pivotal response treatment for billions of children. Aside from Autism Center's scientific excellence, I think it's important to recognize our social responsibility in the field. The Autism Center is tightly aligned with the mission of the Gavert School and pursues its work with a core commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. This can be seen in the way that we treat special education and issues of neurodiversity as matters of inclusion. This is evident in how we strive to support all children, including the most vulnerable, and underserved through our community outreach efforts. You can see this in how we prioritize culturally sensitive and linguistically inclusive approaches in our critical work. State-of-the-art knowledge and gold standards for practice don't mean anything to those who cannot access them. We constantly seek to remove financial, geographic, linguistic, and cultural barriers to the work that we do because all kids matter. At this time, I'd like to introduce the director of the Autism Center, Professor Ty Verdon, to share some cutting edge research happening at the Autism Center and the programs that put this research into practice. Ty is a PhD graduate of our clinical psychology program in the Gavert School, 
where he studied and worked closely with the founders of the Autism Center, Bob and Lynn Cagle. Ty completed his pre-doctoral internship and postdoctoral fellowship at the Yale Child Study Center, which is housed within Yale University School of Medicine. He has an incredible depth of knowledge and experience as both a clinical practitioner and as a scholar and researcher. Given his qualifications, Ty could have gone anywhere to work. So we're extremely grateful we were able to convince him to return to Santa Barbara because it's so hard to live in Santa Barbara <laughs> and to join us at the Gavert School. Please welcome Professor Tyburn.